Hey everybody, it's Art Weston. And today I'm gonna to be testing Berkeley's Nanofill um, 17 pound braided fishing line. What makes this line unique is it's a single strand of braid. That's different than a lot of the competitive braids that have four, six, and up to 16 individual strands. Uh, I think that limits its thickness, which is why the 17 pounds is the thickest Nanofill you can purchase. Uh, today I'm going to be testing it on what's called a digital force gauge. And what this does is it connects a sample of the nanofill line between two bollards and two mini vice grips. And then uh, this uh, digital force gauge itself will read the maximum tension applied to the line as I crank this hand wheel and separate those two bollards from each other. So let's see how well it does. Let's see how strong this nanofill is. I'll read it out, that's up to eight pounds, 15, 17, so past its strength, 30, 40.2 pounds. Uh, that's pretty impressive relative to its stated strength. Uh, it's actually not a surprise from my experience. Most manufacturers of braided line will well understate their breaking strength. And I think they do that for two reasons, one is when you tie a knot using braided line, that will often degrade the strength of the main line at the point of the knot uh, significantly. Um, it's likely due to the lack of stretch that uh, braided materials are made out of, and they just weaken when you apply a knot to them. So they may be trying to rate the line at what they think the line will actually break at with a traditional knot that someone may use. But I think it's more of a marketing ploy uh, to be able to state that, you know, in this case, that the Nanofill line is one of the strongest 17 pound lines out there um, when it actually is a 40.2 pound line. So I've actually cheated a little bit. So if you're wondering whether or not this is an anomaly, I've actually tested this four other times. I'll read those off to you. The first test broke at 42.2, second at 41.8, third at 40.2, the fourth at 42.8 and this one at 40.2. So all five brakes were above 40 pounds. Um, so I would rate it just around 41 pounds in braking strength, um, which is pretty impressive. Now, in terms of its diameter, so it's all relative to how much line you can fit uh, on your reel. And I used the caliper, its stated diameter is 0 0.01 inches. Uh, it, it calipered out at a bit thicker at 0.12. That's roughly equivalent to tournament grade 10 to 12 pound monofilament. Um, I have a version of Andy tournament line here um, at 12 pounds and this is equivalent to this 17 pound nanofill. So that could give you a bit of a sense of how much you could put on your reels. Anyway, I'll be testing knots with this line in subsequent videos. But in terms of its breaking strength, that's quite impressive uh, relative to its stated at 17 pounds. Anyway, um, thank you guys. Bye.